Hey guys, we have this um, solar flood street light and this is pretty big and I'm planning on putting on my garage right here either put it in the back side on top of that or let's see because at night it gets really dark here if you don't have any light post or anything or put it in the front side of my garage right here it will help me to see cars around here but let's go ahead and install it I might mock it into um, something temporarily somewhere here just to test it how much bright it is but right now it's been I think it's been charged already but let's go ahead and install this and see what it looks like all right so we got um instructions here it should be pretty straightforward if you look in the from here it has a bracket as you can see this one let's see how it works here and also as you can see this is the specification here mount bracket and this one says the lights cannot be turned on during the daylight if need inspect the lamp first place lamp in the place where with the sufficient light so this been sitting under the sunlight for the whole day charging efficient so this is the instruction let's try to um, follow the instruction here first it says install the solar bracket first and merge into the two solar panel hmm. or is the bracket so this is the bracket this might be the bracket they're gonna be merged together we'll see how it works we got we got a couple brackets here hmm. all right let's try okay, that let's go ahead so well what i noticed this one comes with a remote right if you plug this even though it says it doesn't let's try it on see turn on turn off but we unplug this one. Let's see if we can unplug this one. So I had it unplugged a while ago. Uh -huh. There you go. It's a lock. You can turn it on. It turns on by itself. See that? If the solar is not connected, it will turn on in daylight. You can still control it off and on. If you want to. It's pretty cool. So it says let's go ahead and install the bracket. We have, so from here, the solar, if you flipped it, has this two, two wires in the middle. There you go. Let's get a little closer here. And you'll see they have a couple inserts here that would be in the middle. So that's where the bracket leave it goes right here and it doesn't matter which one it goes because they are symmetrical so we have a couple holes here four you can adjust it but I'm gonna put it in the middle like this one here one two one two I might put it right here in the middle let's try that one if I'm not mistaken Flip it upside down. No, we we'll do it that way. Yeah, you could do it this way. Let's see what it looks like if we have it that way. Okay, but actually, before we put this in, we're gonna merge this bracket here on here because you gotta put the um, bolt and nuts here before you install that. Let's see what it looks like when we install this one. I think I believe it has to be in this center here and we have a couple nuts and bolts here I believe this is what we're gonna use this two um, two bags of bolts and nuts this is the big one I'll 
open this small one first and see what it looks like. All right, so we open this one here. Let's see. I would say this one. I'm gonna pick which one I'm gonna use. Two, four. Let me separate this one so we know which one we're gonna use for these brackets. Okay, so I separate them together. This is have 12 of these small screw with a Phillip head. That's the one goes to this one here. So the first thing we're gonna use is this one with the washer. Here, four of these, four knots and four washer. I might need four more washer to make it stronger. I'm gonna grab it so we can install this one here. That's the first thing we're gonna do. All right, so we get some few washers here. Let's go ahead and install this one. So, have one here, there's four of them. I put one nut um, bolt here with washer. There, put another washer. That's the one I added washer just to make it more better and stronger. I might actually put that the other way around. So, the small washer that I added, put in the back. Then, put it here. There you go, and then the one came with a bit with a washer here. Then there you go. So we're gonna repeat these to the all four. And let's go ahead and um, lock it in. Alright, so once we got all these installed, this is size 10 millimeter. Back and forth, back and front, this nut and the screw, the bolt. So we're gonna tighten them up before we install it here on the all solar right. panel. So once we got it in. Let's place it here in the middle. This screw is here. Insert must be aligned there on the holes. Let's see. They're all going to be aligned and then we're going to put this bracket here down here. Just two bracket. One here and one on the top. And we're going to go ahead and um, use this Phillips screw to tight put all those bolts um, screws in here all right as you can see we got everything aligned up here here so we're gonna go ahead tighten them up and then go all right this one's almost done guys so from here I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over let's see so we're done with um, step one and step two now in step three I'm gonna get that one all together so it's this one would be with the solar it's the light itself this is facing up and it's facing down we're gonna go ahead put this connector and go underneath here we'll come out here Let's see if we can get it in Oh, there you go like that and that will go inside here so we're gonna loosen this nuts here Allen loosen them up so it will go right here and um, the other pack comes with the Allen so we can use that to loosen this one, one up so we can put this in this bracket okay this one you just open this up until this two will fit inside this one doesn't fit fully yet, so I'm gonna keep. There you go. There you go. Once that good, right here. Let's see. And we're gonna face this up. Then once it's there, we're gonna go ahead and tighten this one. Okay, this one we're just gonna keep tightening this one until it doesn't move anymore. And after that. Let's, let's go ahead put this in and this one goes on top so this one goes that's a step four but it's still step three it goes like this let's see goes like that and that's the solar look like it's gonna look like that see that there you go it's 
gonna look like that. And that's pretty much it. Then we're gonna find the bolt that goes here. It looks like this one here. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, that's where we're gonna lock that in. And I think this is a size 12. Let's check it out. All right, so this one is size 14. Let's go ahead and um, install it here. So this one is gonna keep it to, to prevent it to spin and move. So let's do that. You can actually flip it this way if you want. This is better. That's it. Let's see the other way around. You can flip it either way you like. Like that. But if you do it like that, it's gonna be like. Oh. Weird. It's not as flat. If you do it this way, yeah, it's better. No, this way is better. All right, guys, this is ready to go. Everything installed. And all I'm gonna do is hang it wherever I wanna hang it. Let me try this. Hopefully this one will hold it. I'm not sure if this will hold it. We gotta find something to a good attachment. You have good, um, good bolts here that you can attach it, but temporarily I can't get it up there. So I might put it somewhere here. See this here? This is pretty tall, probably 50, 20 feet. We'll see tonight if it's gonna make a good bright lights in there. Let's go ahead and mount it there. All right, see what it looks so like. I can't get it up that high because my wood is not thick enough, thick enough. But I got it here and we'll see. This is temporarily. I haven't attached it yet because it's not gonna light up anyway because it's still daylight. However, if it's not attached, I can control it with my with the remote. As you can see, turn it on. That is on. That's off. And this one is about. Let's see how tall would it be. I have a tape measure here. Let's see. From here, all the way down here. It's about nine feet. Nine feet tall. Maybe nine. Yeah, about nine feet tall. But tonight, I'm going to show you how bright would it be if how much is the coverage from here. And later on, we're going to put it in my garage. But from here, it does turn on and off. All right, let's see. Let's see this one here if it works. I don't even know how to use this yet. But they have the three hour automatic turn on and off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set it automatic, plug that in and wait for the night. We'll see how much progress it will, will burn it up. All right, it's a little bit dark. Let's see if it light up now. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see, it's gonna be under here. So we can turn it on. Alright. Let's go down there. There you go. It's not in the sensor. So that one's not too bad. That's pretty bright there. See that? See the coverage in there? Let's go down there if it's gonna. That's pretty bright. For me, that's pretty bright. Let's go down here. So it does cover from, let's see, all the way up there. Let's see, turn it off again. Off, on, okay, it's pretty bright. Okay, let's see what the, it does if I do this. I go dim it, dimming it, and bright. There you go. But the bright is pretty good. See? And let's wait another one later, maybe another more hour. We'll see if it get really dark tonight, and then we'll see how much coverage we get. Let's turn it up for now. Let's 
turn it off. Let's see. There you go. So now it's dark. Let's see how bright is this. Let's turn it on. There you go, guys. You can see. That's pretty bright. Let's go down there and we'll see how far does it cover. That's a pretty good light in there. And I would say up to here, this is about 20 feet to 30 feet brightness there. Let me go. It's like, I would say about 50 feet right here. That's pretty bright. And my, let's see, is my remote. Whoa. Turn it off. Dim. Try to dim it. Turn off. All right, turn it on. There we go. Very bright, guys. Dim. I gotta play around with it. I'm not sure how to really work this thing. But bright, dimmer. But this is nice. I like this one. So let's turn it off again. See how dark that is. And bright. I like this one. Alright guys, I hope this helps you guys to see how's the condition of this one. And that's the brightest, oh man, that's perfect. Alright guys, hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.